abdominal iota we have what are the branches let us take the notes two terminal branches are there that is right and left common iliac artery three ventral branches are there ventral branches are for the gut that is foregut that is midgut that is hindgut that is foregut artery is celiac trunk midgut artery is superior mesenteric artery hindgut artery is inferior mesenteric artery and four lateral branches <laughs> so we have two terminal branches three ventral branches and four lateral branches that is for the lateral branches we have this mnemonic inferior ms ruins gonads inferior ms ruins gonads what is the meaning ms is a surgeon right ms degree surgeon inferior surgeon means poor quality surgeon okay this is simply a mnemonic it does not have any significance as such just to add little bit humor it's so a poor quality surgeon will ruin the gonad he if he is a poor quality surgeon he will be ruining any surgery for that matter but then why we have put the gonad because we want to write the name of gonadal artery so now we will write the names we have inferior phrenic artery inferior phrenic we have middle suprarenal artery middle suprarenal artery we have the renal artery and also we have the gonadal artery i hope that makes sense beta did you understand inferior phrenic middle suprarenal renal and gonadal and overall if you see the branches of the iota are two terminal branches three ventral branches four lateral branches and we also have five posterior branches so for the five posterior branches we can simply take the notes that we have four lumbar arteries we have four lumbar arteries and we have one median sacral artery we have one median sacral artery i hope that makes sense so now if you look at these branches right let me give you the diagram and let me explain in a schematic manner how the branches will look like okay so if i add this is the diaphragm and we have the aorta which is coming from above it will be thoracic aorta but as soon as it crosses below it will be now called as abdominal aorta and we know eventually abdominal aorta will bifurcate when it will bifurcate like it will make the right and left common iliac artery but then it will also give three ventral branches which are celiac trunk which are like celiac trunk artery for the foregut superior mesenteric artery for the midgut and inferior mesenteric artery for the hindgut so in the same diagram we could see the terminal branches we could see the ventral branches but what about the lateral branches for the lateral branches for the lateral branches we will assume the kidney is here we will assume the gonad is here and we will assume this is suprarenal gland now dear friends if i ask you that when the aorta is above the diaphragm that means it is descending thoracic aorta towards the end it is giving one branch above the diaphragm there is a word for the diaphragm phrenic 
if it is above the diaphragm what can be called this branch can be called as superior phrenic this branch can be called as superior phrenic but as soon as the iota is coming down the diaphragm and from below it is sending one branch upward like this now what is the name of this artery it will be inferior phrenic do you appreciate beta so we have the superior phrenic which is coming from above that is a branch of descending thoracic iota and supplying the diaphragm and one branch from below that is inferior phrenic it is a branch of abdominal iota i hope that makes sense and now here simply we will make this this artery is middle suprarenal so ms middle suprarenal this artery is dedicated for the kidney so i'll write this is as renal artery and this artery is the gonadal artery now dear friends one thing like we are calling this artery ms what is the full form middle suprarenal but the word middle it comes with respect to something like for example either there should be something left and right that with respect to that it is middle or there some there should be like anterior posterior or there should be something superior inferior so something should be there with respect to that that it is middle so here what we observe that we have for the suprarenal gland we have three suprarenal arteries superior middle and inferior so it is interesting here now very easy in the same diagram we can learn that this is the artery given to the sup, uh, suprarenal gland it will be called as superior suprarenal and one branch coming from below this will be called as inferior suprarenal now let me zoom in this area to show you that for the suprarenal gland we have three suprarenal artery superior suprarenal artery which is coming from the artery above that is inferior phrenic artery middle suprarenal artery which is a direct branch from the iota and inferior suprarenal artery which is a branch of the renal artery now dear friends if you see in this diagram what we have seen we have seen the branches of the abdominal iota we have seen like uh, terminal branches we have seen the ventral branches lateral branches as well as we can see the suprarenal arteries is that all fine but one thing that comes to my mind now that if we have three suprarenal arteries do we also have three suprarenal veins no we have a single suprarenal vein okay we do not have three set of the suprarenal veins we have simply left and the right suprarenal vein the only difference is in their drainage the right one will be draining directly to the ivc whereas the left suprarenal vein will be draining to the left renal vein and then it will come to the ivc so that is all about the branches of the abdominal iota including the suprarenal gland blood supply